is one of the oddest people I have ever met. He is obsessive and he's quirky. He is an encyclopedia walking. And I think he's one of the most marvelous humans I know. If you've got the ability to get outside in a wild place or even in your own backyard, Alan will probably help you find something to eat there. I actually don't even really like the word foraging. I prefer hunter of plants and mushrooms. But to me, foraging means exploring. It's the unknown. It is the final frontier of farm to table food. And as a chef, it sets me apart from the rest of the herd. I love milkweed, Osliapa syriaca. You get the flowers and I make sorbet or you just sprinkle them on a salad raw. Oh, ramps. Allium trichocum. Wild garlic. Wild peppermint. Lamb's quarter. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Wild mustard. Comfrey flowers. Excellent raw, just sprinkled on a salad. And it's just fun to eat anything that's purple. Wild Szechuan peppercorns. Yeah, my mouth's numb. Foraging means it's breaking new culinary ground, working with ingredients that maybe nobody has worked with before. When you finally succeed at making something delicious, it makes me say, you know what? There's real purpose in this. It can take a long time to unlock some of the possibilities of different wild plants and mushrooms. And a lot of the ingredients I work with, they do not follow normal guidelines of how you would cook food. So it takes experimentation. Constantly learning. Studying Latin names is super important. Reading field guides. If I'm going to serve something to another person, I have to be a thousand percent sure that this is absolutely safe and delicious. And then when I take that Rubik's Cube and I finally figure out how to put the pieces together, it can blow diners' minds. There's a much bigger world out there than the packaged things that gets sold in supermarkets. When I go and clip salad greens with the scissors and then put them in my fridge right away, those salad greens might last me a month. That's unheard of. You can get more nutrition, a longer lifespan, and a lot better overall enjoyment out of what you eat. It's a chicken. It's a chicken in the woods. Lady Porus sulfurius, yellow poured chicken of the woods, but it's way too old to eat. Well, some people say the devil is in the details, and I think Alan has the opposite approach, which is that the details are awesome. You know, let's look at the details because the details contain the secrets to making things perfect. For every single foraged plant and mushroom, there is an ideal stage of growth. And Alan insists on finding that ideal stage of growth. Well, working with food that's in the moment, for example, things that I went out and picked in the morning, that's a really special thing to be able to share with someone. Food is one of the really important ways that we bond as a family. It's sort of fun to be part of a whole life cycle of food, whether it's growing it or finding it. 
But making food with people you love has got a kind of magical quality to it. When I'm outside gathering things, finding something new, at the end of the day, I can sit down and know I have my hand on the pulse of where I live. And that is really the deeper connection of what I do.